I like choice, but I also like standards. If we didn't have standards, life would just become unmanageable. We'd still be lost in the constant struggle between VHS or Betamax, DVD or Blu-ray, beef or horse. The same goes for mobile phones, particularly the platforms that run on them. Back in the day, when all we did was call people and played a bit of Snake, it was fine to fill devices with Mamo, Mer, Symbian and a bunch of other Linux-based hack jobs that sound just as much like characters in The Lion King. These days, people are becoming dependent on a cross-platform app infrastructure. That requires compatibility and that requires standards. And that's nonsense. We need competition, especially from the no-hopers flying on nothing more than crossed fingers. It's a smell of desperation that drives innovation. Comfy duopolies don't innovate because they don't have to. When Microsoft won the so-called browser wars at the end of the 90s, it was decided that IE6 was the pinnacle of browser development. It wasn't. It was rubbish. Oh, like your argument. It took six long years before the company released IE7, and that was only stimulated by the growing threat of Firefox. Now we have more choice. Likewise, in mobile, Sailfish, Ubuntu, Firefox OS probably won't supplant Android, but they will certainly provide a competitive stimulus that will make them all better. What's wrong with that then, eh? I'm not saying there shouldn't be competition, but this is pie in the sky, it's hippie heaven. Add a load of other messy half-coded options in addition to Android and iOS, and you'll just confuse and disorientate everybody. No adoption, no money into the ecosystem, no developer support, no customer satisfaction. In your world, the choice would be between Symbian and, and Windows Mobile. It's better efforts are put into improving existing standards. That's the beauty of open source. App startups can bring about all this precious innovation for little to no development cost. Never mind having to convince a phone manufacturer to buy into your OS. Just make your own and sideload it into Android. So the bloke with the long hair is calling the skinhead a hippie. But at least you're finally coming around to my way of thinking. Keeping standards open requires thriving competition. The history of computing teaches us that Tech companies embrace standards only to subvert them. History of computing. Give it a rest, Grandad. Show some respect. It's especially true where you have two fat, self-satisfied duopolists with little competitive threat to make them change their ways. As soon as growth in the mobile device market slows, they will do their damnedest to lock people in. It's all very well telling people to go and make a rinky-dink Android app instead, but not only is that dancing to someone else's tune, it's filling their pockets with ill-deserved gold. You talk about locking people into an ecosystem, but in business you need loyalty to maintain a brand. Android, and iOS to a point, put a lot of control squarely in the hands of developers. There's hardly any criteria demanded to launch an app on Android, but what you get for ticking those few corporate boxes is compatibility across devices, as well as 70% of that gold, which is pretty damn good considering your stuff has such a massive audience. You Linux boys are just never happy, are you? You whinge and whine for years about how nobody understands or accepts you, then as soon as a Linux-based OS climbs to the top of the tree, one just isn't enough. You say that everything is different this time, but companies never change. They always try to lock in customers and exploit their dominance. IBM couldn't stop Microsoft, Microsoft couldn't stop the smartphone, and Nokia couldn't stop Apple. However, such big companies can and do impede progress for years before they are overwhelmed. So let the challengers fight it out. Let them fight it on their software technology, their app ecosystems, their business models, even their marketing. Let those that make mistakes fall by the wayside and new challengers rise to take their place. Embrace the chaos.